Welcome! This tutorial is going to be about drop caps and a feature called nested styles. So if you have a paragraph that you'd like to apply a drop cap to, put the cursor inside the paragraph, be inside your paragraph control panel, and these two little icons right here can control that drop cap. The top one tells it how many lines you would like it to be. There's four lines. The second one tells you how many characters you would like it to be. Now, if you want to control the space between that drop cap and your copy, uh, we control that with tracking. So go to your option arrow keys. I can make that space wider, or I can make that space smaller. Of course, that's occurring right here. You can see if I go back to my character, that's my tracking values right there. Now, if you'd like a little bit more control over your drop cap, go to your little icons here, hold the option key down, and click brings a dialog box. Again, you can tell it how many lines, how many characters, uh, but occasionally if you have a character, or do drop caps with multiple characters, and you have a descender that's crashing down into your copy, if you click on this right here, it changes the size, but it relieves the issue of the crashing of the descender. I'll go back here. Now the other thing is if you want a special look, this way, it's just going to pick up the text color and font. But say I want to change that drop cap to make it more ornamental. I can create a character style, which I've already set one up, called bold italic color. Apply it here. And that way, independent of your paragraph, you can control the look of that. Apply that, go back to my tracking, and get that looking just the way I'd like. So that's it for part one of drop caps. Tune into part two where we'll talk about a feature called nested styles.